Uh, good game. It was a good game. Um, it's a tough Wyoming team. Uh, Five-win team coming in. Uh, you know, we knew we had our work cut out for us and um, need to play a really good, complete game, all three phases. You know, you know, in the fourth quarter, uh, got to make a play somewhere and, uh, you know, get a stop, uh, make a play on offense, special teams. But, uh, you know, I think that's the difference in the game. Um, and, and even the other three quarters, you know, we had chances to make plays um, somewhere. And, uh, and, and we're going to watch the film and, and see where we went deficient at. But, uh, but well-fought game, proud of those guys, love those boys. And uh, that's the message to them. I think you always talk about maximizing opportunities. It seems, again, in the second half, um, just didn't complete en enough throws or and also didn't make enough throws. Yeah, what, you, what changed the strategy? You know, I think, I think first half and second half, I think, I think I saw the stat line, 11 of 27 in the first half. You know, that's, you know, I think when we, I think when, when, uh, when we watch the film, we're going to see missed opportunities in there that, uh, that, that could have been better and, and definitely is going to change the outcome of the game. Hey guys, uh, on defense, you were doing very well on third down, getting off the field early in the game uh, late. Um, they did have a gash or two first half, but um, later in the game, they were just kind of running wild. Um, is there... A depth issue on maybe defensive front, especially, or other parts of the defense. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, without saying without saying a lot, uh, you know, definitely, you know, um, you know, when you see the same guys in there and and um, you know, uh, playing with the number of guys, uh, you know, it's uh, there's some issues for sure. Hey, Coach, um, I think Tylen had his first 100-yard performance today. I guess what, what went into the decision to give him a little more snaps, especially after last week? Yeah, Tylen's a good back, you know. Uh, I think after the last game, he only had two carries. Uh, this past week, uh, I mean, this, 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 this game, um, he did awesome. You know, he was, you know, running through tackles, running around guys, running through guys, you know, breaking tackles. He's a good player. You know, and, and not only does he, he carry a, a big load for us in the running back and pass game, but he also plays special teams. He's, he's a really good player. Coach, um, not the outcome you guys are hoping for, but, you know, to have the 92 team um, out on the field during pregame, throughout the game, you know, what did it mean to you just kind of see those guys and talk to those guys? Oh, man, I love our alumni. You know, I, I really, the message is that I really want those guys around, not just the 92 class, all, all the classes. You know, all, all the years, all, all the people that came through this program and, and put their, you know, their, their blood, sweat, and tears into this program the way that, you know, I did. Uh, I, I want them around. But the 92 class was special. You know, it's one of the best, best teams that we had. Um, it, was a, it was an honor to, to honor them. Uh, they were at practice. You know, the guys loved their message. I mean, they were saying, you know, they were talking and saying, you know, the things that they were told when the 92 had a chance to share, uh, you know, it's a party at the ball. And that's how, and that's how they played. And, and our defense really wanted to play like that tonight. And, uh, and uh, it, it was great to see those guys and get, and get them honored today. What do you take away from uh, tonight's game? And, you know, you're going on the road next week to Fresno State, you know, a, a school that you played throughout your college career. But what do you take away from this game? And what do you feel has to be improved at Fresno State? Yeah, you know, definitely going to get on Fresno tomorrow. It will be a short week for us, and we'll be traveling. Um, you know, Fresno's a good team. Fresno was picked to be the top of the class. You know, I know they had injuries that maybe had set them back a little bit, but it looks like they're back on track again. Um, good team, uh, well coached. Uh, Coach Tedford uh, does a good job with his programs when he um, when, 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 we, when we play against them. And so uh, it's going to be a true test on the road in a hostile environment. It's so sort of a pick your or poison on defense, uh, particularly when they had Peasley running so well, and then then bringing in DQ James. Uh, and and what, what did uh, James do to surprise you? Oh, they're two running backs. Yeah, they, they you know, the, you know I thought I thought for the most part we we kind of held them a little bit. It, it was you know big chunk runs, you know, and 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 usually when there's big chunk runs, there's 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 missed gap assignments. 
during those during those uh, during those type of runs. And so we got to go back to the drawing board. But you know, take nothing away from those guys. That's a good Wyoming team that loves to be physical up front. Um, they run between the tackles. They run around. Um, you know, zone scheme, gap scheme. You know, and you know they're good at it. And so um, hats off to them. Uh, Braden made some spectacular throws, but it seemed like, um, especially uh, for a spell in the first half, I think in the second quarter, uh, he was kind of off target, especially high. But um, was there, did he have something physical, or was he just, was it just what might have been? You know, I think, I think, uh, I think in that first quarter, and you know, end the first quarter, second quarter, that second series, that rain started to come down a little bit, and might have affected him. Uh, you know, they, they had a chance to throw some wet ball this week at practice. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, it's the first time uh, it's kind of been really that wet. We had that wet of a week. So it was kind of good going into and having those practices. But, you know, we, we need more of them because the Manoa, you know, playing and practicing with Manoa, you, you get those you get those rains that come in and clear up and they come in and clear up. But uh, um, the more we can throw wet balls in, in, in raining situations like that, the better for us in our passing game. But, uh, um, you know, read-wise, you know, we've got to make sure his eyes are in the correct place. We've got to make sure the receivers are in the correct place. Uh, you know, blocking up front is good. Um, we're all on the same page. We're all seeing the same things. And, and that's just – it comes with time. Um, and, and I think if we – when we improve in those areas, you're going to see a lot of growth and, and more points and, and more yards and the things that uh, Hawaii fans are accustomed to seeing. Uh, Peter had those two picks in the second quarter, and I think you guys only got three points off of those two turnovers. Does, does you think that kind of changes – or if you get more points there, yeah, you change it? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. He, he played a hell of a game. You know, he's having a, he's having a hell of a season for, for a freshman. You know, in my opinion, uh, he's going to be special. He's going to be one of the special ones that that, that played and, and, and left the jersey in a better place at the University of Hawaii. You know, we could have done better on offense, and I think that's what Dave was talking about. You know, the whether it's, you know, run game or, or especially pass game, we could have been more efficient. But, you know, back to the drawing board for, you know, our skill guys and and um, and, and Shager, and, and, and he's going to continue to learn. He'll continue to get better, and, and that's what I enjoy. I mean, he's having really good practices, and, and it's starting to come along. You know, now it's 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 really taking these moments and, and understanding, hey, in these moments, in these games, you know, what what's your mind going through? Are you seeing everything? You know, where's the windows? Where's the holes? And, uh, and, and just being there, and I think he's, you know, if he starts to get up in that 70, high 60 percentage, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to see the offense take off.